Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through step by step how to draw a regular nonagon. So nonagon when giving the length of the side. Now remember, a nonagon has um, nine nine sides, nine sides. And when we talk about a regular nonagon, that means all the sides are equal. So if you are asked to draw a nonagon with a side of let's say five centimeter, which is what we are going to be using in this video, how do you go about it? So even if you are working with a different length, maybe yours is not five centimeter. Just note that the steps are still the same thing, irrespective of the length of the side that you are asked to, to uh, work with. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe, please take out time to click on the subscribe button below. It's absolutely free to subscribe. And also click on the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. If you are yet to, please click on it. It's absolutely free. Alright, so let's get into this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drain one side of the nonagon. So since we are working with 5 cm, so I'll measure 5 cm. And in addition to it, let me also say that I'll be using a protractor to get this done. So because there are different methods you know, to doing this, but I'll be using that of the protractor. But don't worry, you are still going to get the same results. So I haven't drawn the line, I'm also going to extend it a bit, both left and right. So here we have our first side, which is AB. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to bring in the protractor, I'll place it on point B. So place it on point B. So in this direction, starting from this point, I'm going to measure 40 degrees. So this is 40 degrees. I'm going to mark it. So I'll mark the 40 degrees. So from point B, So here I have my 40 degree mark. So I'm going to draw a line. So on that same line, I'm going to mark where we have the 40, I mean the 5 centimeter mark. So I'm going to measure 5 centimeter on this same line that I've just drawn. So this is going to be from this point B. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the second side. So let's call this point C, where we have the five centimeter. So I'll bring back our protractor again. I'll place it on point C like this. So I'll measure another 40 centimeter. So this is, I mean 40 degrees. So this is where we have our 40 degrees mark. Bring in my ruler. So from point C to where we have the 40 degree mark, I will draw a line. So on that line, I will measure 5 centimeters. So from this point, where we are having this point C. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So pardon me for the way I'm taking my measurements in case it's confusing you, but that's it. So from point 11 to point 16, uh, it has 5 centimeter. So this is going to be point D. Point D. So on point D also, we repeat the same thing. We we'll bring back our protractor, we we'll place it on point D. So make sure your protractor is properly placed, then you make 40 degrees. So that's 40 degrees. So from point D to where we marked, we we'll draw a line, and on that same line, we are going to measure 5 centimeters. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, the reason why we are extending the lines a bit is so that when we place our protractor, so let me call this point E, so that when we when we place the protractor like this, we are, this extension here will, will make sure that our line, our, our protractor is resting on that line so that we can know that yes, it is properly placed. So the same thing again from point E. So this is 40. So from this point E to where we have our 40 degrees mark, we'll draw a line then 5 centimeters. So this is going to be 1 from point E. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that 5 centimeter is just a little uh, after the... 
So this is point F. So this is point F. So now we already have one, two, three, four, five. We already have five sides. So now we are to do that of the remaining four sides. So you can decide to continue like this and place your in this direction. Or you can now start the same thing from point A. So I, I'll be starting again from point A. It's just the same step, but this time around, just follow along. This time around, our 40 degrees will not be from this way, the direction. It's going to be in this direction, that is in clockwise. So 40 degrees. So this is the 40 degrees. So from point A to where we have our 40 degree mark, and then I'm going to measure 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll make that bold. So bring back the protractor again. Place it on that line. So let's call this point. So let's just F. Let me just call this point G anyway. So 40 degrees will be here. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for watching this video to this uh, to this part, uh, this video is going to be a part two to how to draw a non argon when given the length of one of the sides. I'm going to be using another method apart from this method where I'm using my protractor. So there's another method where we are going to be using our compass. So just make sure you stay tuned to the end. I'm going to be talking about it. So this is another side. So let's call this point H. We bring back our protractor. So 40 degrees. So for this, since this is the second to the last, you know, you can just measure five. You don't need to do it more than. So let's call this, okay, point H. Now, since we are left with one side, you know, Without even measuring, we can just bring in our ruler just to confirm if we are correct. If you place your ruler on it, it should be giving us 5 cm, you can see. So from point this, from this point F to let's call this point I. So this is H, I. So if you look at it, without even using our protractor, it should be giving us 5 cm. Okay, it's looking blue. Or, okay. So it should be giving us 5 cm. Let me see. All right, so you can see it's giving us five centimeter. So you can just go ahead and join it. So if the last side is not giving five centimeter, probably there's a mistake somewhere in your when you are marking your angles. So you can see we already have a nonagon with five a nine side. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with nine sides. So the angles that we are working with all this part here, they are just all 40, 40 degrees round. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or any comments, let me know in the comment section below. Also, in the description of this video, I'm going to be leaving links to other regular polygon like the hexagon, heptagon, octagon, you know, decagon. I'm going to be leaving all the links to you know how to draw a regular polygon. We are giving the length of the side, you no know, other regular polygon. Just check the description of this video. You are going to find uh, the link to those videos. And like I said, I said I'm going to be talking about you know another video where we are going to be showing you how to draw a regular nonagon like this when you are giving the length of the side so let me indicate here that this is five centimeter so the distance from a to b is five centimeter and same applies to all of the side so there's another way to go about this i'm going to be talking about it or showing you how to go about it in the next part of this video which will be popping up somewhere here towards the end of this video so do make sure you watch this video to the end so that you'll be seeing that method then i would also like to know which method you think is more easier and more simple simpler for you but whichever approach you are going to be using, you are still going to be achieving the same results. So with that, you can also check our website, paacademy.co. Also check the playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There are over 100 videos there that will be of help to you. So at the time of recording this video, I have over 100 videos on that, on that playlist, technical and engineering drawing. So with that, guys, I'll see you all in the part two, which is coming up here, showing you how to draw a nonagon using another method. That method, you are going to be using more of our compass and won't be even and than, you know, be using more of our compass than our protractor. Alright, so I'll see you all in the part two of this video. Thank you.